Hey, how's it going? Robert here from Robert's Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to add a fisheye filter to your photos in Photoshop. Now, this is a fairly easy method. There's two different ways that I'm going to show you today. One way is uh, not so convenient as the other, but I just thought I'd rather show you both ways just to get them out of the way. All right, so the first way is not as easy or as convenient. It's, it's really easy to apply the filter effect, but the outcome needs some touching up. So let's get started. I got a photo of an um, alien's houses. I believe it's alien's houses because I saw a spaceship in the road. Not in the road, but off to the side. I turned down the street and all these houses were built like this. So I believe aliens are there or uh, people abducted by aliens live here. All right, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. Then I'm going to go to filter, distort, sphere eyes. Now we can zoom out a little bit. There's going to be a problem with sphere eyes. If I click, that's the normal preview and then let go. That's the sphere eyes effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK to apply this effect. And now you can see the noticeable problem. There's going to be like a bubble. So this is actually applying kind of a bubble effect to your photo and it doesn't really make it look like you took it with the fisheye lens. It just makes it look like you uh, blew some bubbles in and took the photo with some bubbles in front of the camera. Now this is fixable. You can always add a black border around this or crop it out. And uh, that's that's one way you can do it. Now I want you to notice that uh, it does kind of distort the image a little bit. So you might want to take your photos in a higher resolution so that it doesn't distort it as much. Now I'm going to show you the second way which is more effective and probably the best way. So I'm going to duplicate this background layer and I'm going to actually go to edit, transform, warp. And you got the warp controls, but over here under warp, it says custom. Now we usually never touch these settings, but if you click the down arrow, you go down, there's a fisheye effect. So now you can apply the fisheye effect to your photo and it's applying it to the entire photo. You can adjust the bend percentage to if I uh, bring it to 100%, it's going to be way out there. And uh, the default is usually 50. You can adjust that to negative 100 or all the way up to positive 100. You can adjust this too if you want, but that's a good looking photo right there. And then when you're done, just click the check mark over here or enter on your keyboard. And now you've applied the fisheye effect to this photo and it looks like you really took it with the fisheye lens. The only thing with this photo as well, you want to take your photos in a higher resolution because what the uh, software tends to do is stretch out the photo, uh, stretch out the pixels in the middle and crunch them together on the outer edges to make them sharper. Therefore that's why higher resolution photos, larger photos, are going to turn out better, especially if you shrink it afterwards. So I'm just going to go to image, image size, and uh, constraint proportions, and I'm just going to shrink it, you know, to around maybe a thousand. Click OK, and now your photo uh, should look really good, just like you took it with a fish eye lens. So there you go, two different methods. The first method, not so great, but you can use it in some circumstances. You might need to use that. And in most circumstances, you probably be using the Edit Transform Warp Fisheye effect. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.